guys have been asking a lot of questions about whether beer is vegan or not, and today we're going to demystify the mystery behind beer. Well, let's go have a few pints. Today I'm here with Steven, who is a professional brewer, a certified Cicerone and a Prudhomme sommelier, and we're going to talk about beer, both vegan and not vegan. Why did I pour that through a fish's butt? <laughs> what makes beer not vegan? What what ingredients could also be added? Maybe you shouldn't mention the brewery in Colorado that's used full testicle. Things in case, do. you know, you want tea bag in a glass. I haven't had that, but obviously that uh, would, not be, <laughs> would not be vegan. So beyond the raw ingredients yeah. that could have been used, uh, what you're really looking out for is a couple different filtering agents. Maybe the first one uh, is called Isinglass. Swim bladder from a sturgeon fish. When you, what is it, swimming bladder? Swim bladder. Swim bladder. So what I'm picturing is like a big vat with like a bladder floating <laughs> around it. There's going to be thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of bladders in the finished beer. Yeah, not. There's no pee. The there's no urine in your beer. No urine. <laughs> Modern filters like diatomaceous earth, which is diatomaceous earth is literally fossilized fish found uh, on the basement floor of an ocean. Yeah, that doesn't sound very vegan to me. So, diatomaceous, diatomaceous earth, uh, or let's just call it DE, uh, is what's used to filter the majority of the world's beers. Uh, and it can take a beer from cloudy after its aging process, which many beers will be, to brilliant and perfect in color. He asked for it. Why did I give him a beer full of gelatin? Let's ask the expert. Gelatin can be used as another clarifying agent. So... Why gel? I feel like nothing will go through the gelatin. Well, so that's the point. So... <laughs> I guess. Here's the deal is you would add it into the finished beer, and these essentially act as negatively charged ions, which attract other ions, other floating particles mm -hmm. in the beer, they attach and together, and then they sink. And what you're left with is clear beer. So okay, how about a vegan beer? Finally, may I suggest a steam whistle? It's brewed locally right here in Toronto and uses only four ingredients, malted barley, fresh water, yeast, and <laughs> no. Enjoy your beer. Oh, and you'd like to try one as well? If you prefer something darker, try a Mill Street Tank House. And Mill Street also has an organic version, both brewed right here in Toronto. Give that a try. But how do you know if the beer on the menu is actually vegan or not? Barnivore.com is an invaluable tool when you're out with your friends. All you have to do is pull it up on your smartphone and start searching. So why am I holding this retro, vintage, wall-mounted bottle opener? Because if you tell me what your favorite beer is in the comments below and like the video, you can win it. Happy commenting. <laughs> I didn't break it. This is how you dump your garbage. Your beer caps and cigarette butts. <laughs>